People are used to sharing mostly the best of their lives or work, but this video is different. It's about my fails in plastic recycling. I describe basic mistakes I made since I joined Precious Plastic community in early 2020, so you can avoid them. This video has three sections. Injection molding, compression molding and other recommendations. When I decided to build my own injection machine, I found a problem with the size of precise tubes. Unfortunately, I didn't find two tubes that could move with a small clearance as you can see in this video. Perfect. So I had to machine surface of piston a little bit. I also recommend you to weld a plug in a piston end as you can see in this picture. With a black dioxide coating, you can increase the corrosion resistance of parts. These parts are also available on Precious Plastic Bazaar, or you can find the blueprints in my starter pack. I designed a small flanges to attach injection machine frame into ground. It helps to achieve more stability. This can be possible if floor quality is good. If not, I can recommend you to use a wood euro size pallet. You can take it everywhere and as you can see it provides enough support. Before you start plastic recycling, you should know there are different plastic types. Not all of them can be easily processed on precious plastic hardware. Usually I work with polypropylene or high density polyethylene. There is a big difference between this HDPE and this HDPE. My simple advice for you is to look how parts were made. If parts you want to recycle was made on injection molding machine, you know it's suitable for injection again. There are also more scientific methods which will measure plastic properties. Based on measured values, you can see if material is suitable for injection molding, extrusion or other technology. Here you can see product types I usually recycle through injection machine. PLA, such as these cutted filament strings, are nice for compression molding, but I don't recommend PLA for injection molding. Due to low shrinkage and big stiffness, it's difficult to remove parts from mold. Molds for precious plastic hardware are very simple compared to industrial molds. Mold design should have a high stiffness. I recommend maximum part weight under 100 grams. Do not rush. If you want to inject material too early, some particles can block inlet into mold and you will end up with a scrap piece. Make tiny air channels which will exhaust the air from the inside of the mold during injection process. Preheating mold can help you to achieve better results, but in this picture you can see I applied too much heat and opened the mold too early. When you finally make your desired product, it's always great satisfaction. Sometimes testing process lasts few minutes, but it can also be many days. It depends on complexity of the product and your experience. If you need, I can prepare mold design or manufacture mold for your product. Now let's move to compression molding. Think about separation to prevent sticking plastic on mold surface. Kitchen sunflower oil is a minimum. I can recommend two stroke synthetic oil or black baking foil. The best industrial separator I've been using for one year is Atmos Coat. On this example you can see I tried to make a dome joint with a compression molding technique. I would be surprised if it worked. Anyway, I wanted to try it. Dirt on plastic you want to recycle is more visible on compressed products than on injected parts. I recommend to clean plastic well. One day I saw perforated metal sheet that I used earlier for building the shredder sieve and I got the idea to make a nice pattern on board. That was a bad idea. As you can see, sheet metal was heavily bent during the molding process, but I still use it as a big sieve, and the plastic board is fine. 
you can make plastic waterfall effect if you put more plastic into mold. From visual perspective it's cool effect that can provide a lot of likes on social media, but from plastic recycling aspect this indicates a lack of experience. I always test different plastic types and I make notes about weight and material I used, temperature settings and processing times. With these notes you can optimize manufacturing process and reduce offcuts and scrap parts. You can download for free simple sheet I made. Make your workspace clean and well organized. It can help you to save a lot of time. Track progress of product development. This can help you to improve design in the future. Share information with other people. Precious Plastic Community is a great environment for knowledge transfer. I think the best way is to visit other recycling workspace nearby you and try technology by yourself. In Czech Republic I offer workshops where you can experience recycling, get more information and tips how to start. It can save a lot of time and money in the future. Machines, molds and other products are available on Precious Plastic Bazaar. For new Plastmakers updates you can follow my Instagram. Next video will be tutorial how to make a greenhouse geodesic dome. Thank you for watching.